How does retitrutide cause weight loss? In this video, we're going to dive into the mechanics of how this triple agonist worked. We're gonna show you what the studies are showing and why I'm so excited about the future of this medication because I believe it's a complete metabolic reset that has nothing to do with the scale. We've been obsessed with how much do you weigh and your BMI, and we know that those ideas and those concepts, especially BMI, is just old data, old science that we need to let go of. And so I'm gonna show you how retitrutide literally transform your whole metabolic system without leaving you fatigued. Because a lot of times when you lose weight, you lose energy, you don't feel as good. But I'm gonna show you how this triple agonist works to turn on the burners so you have more energy, you reset your metabolic system, and then I'm gonna show you why your liver is the critical piece to all of this working. So when it comes out, ideally next year, you're going to be set for a really exciting venture when it comes to your longevity. <laughs> I'm Reagan Archibald and I'm the founder of Ageless Future. We have a physician-led peptide protocols that we have found. We compress the time it takes to get your health optimized. We don't treat disease in our clinic. We don't treat any kind of medical condition. What we do is treat you, the person, and help you achieve your longevity goals by first optimizing your health span. So getting you feeling, looking, and performing your best in the shortest amount of time possible so that then you can start focusing on what's that big marker you wanna aim for? What, as Dan Sullivan says, what's your lifetime extender goal? And uh, he wants to live to be 156. I don't know what your number is. I'd love to hear it in the chat box, but let's jump into what Retitrutide does when it comes to weight loss. Well, first of all, here's one of the studies. And this is what I don't hear a lot of people talking about, but it's a study based on what the liver does. So your liver, if your body is filled with toxins, your liver has to handle all of those. Your liver goes through these three phases of detoxification. Phase one is where you use these gene called cytochrome P450. It's one of the genes that gets turned on where your liver starts metabolizing things that could be damaging to your body. And it breaks it down from a water soluble to a fat soluble molecule and that's phase two, using B vitamins, using glutathione as an antioxidant. So you protect your liver from damage and then it gets secreted in through the gallbladder and then you expel it when you defecate or when you sweat. Like getting in the sauna is a really great way of getting rid of these toxins. If you just saw what Brian Johnson's results were, and yes, he's an N of one, but I thought it was impressive the level of detail in the microplastics and what he was able to do by being in the sauna. And yes, he kept his gentleman down below nice and cool when he was in the sauna, just FYI. How come the liver is so important in the weight loss mechanism? Well, your liver has got roughly 400 functions when it comes to your metabolic system. It's got about 200 functions when it comes to the hormone system. So it's like the airport. If you've ever been to the airport, especially when there is the government lockdown and you saw the complexity without having some of the conductors, you know, people, you know, in the control towers letting you know when the flights can come in and go out, you saw the chaos there. Well, if your liver doesn't have the health that you want, if those detoxification pathways are too plugged up, if your liver is overwhelmed and overworked, because of the food you're eating or the sedentary lifestyle or maybe the toxic accumulation of emotions. The liver in Chinese medicine says it, anger is the pathological emotion. But what happens when you start cleaning up your diet, you start exercising more, the liver starts to change. The blood starts to get clean. You start to detoxify and that's where you see the major changes. What's happened with a lot of the GLP-1s like semaglutide, trisepatide, is people lost weight but they didn't clean out their liver. And when they got off these medications, the weight came right back and that was the criticism of it. And so this is why it's really important to have a team that you work with that helps you put in the right fitness protocols, put in the right nutrition, and that's what we've done at Ageless Future. But here's the key. With retitrutide, they've got the triple agonist, so the third molecule, it's a GLP-1, a GIP, and then glucagon. Glucagon turns on the liver. It turns up the metabolic engine so that your liver can actually use energy right away instead of waiting for later. When you get a little pulse of glucagon, now your liver, instead of just, you know, yes, you get a little bit of an increase in blood sugar, 
but it stabilizes it with that GIP. So you're not going to see a spike, but more of a balancing of blood sugar. So if your blood sugar is too low, glucagon may be able to bring it up. But the best thing is it starts regenerating the liver. And actually in the studies, they found that retitrutide actually addresses fatty liver disease. And here's the study. This is published in 2024. There's multiple research sites throughout the United States. And what the study's called is triple hormone receptor agonist retitrutide for metabolic dysfunction associated steatotic liver disease and obesity. And what they assessed was the weight loss and metabolic effects of retitrutide, the triple agonist in adults with obesity over 48 weeks, 338 participants. It was peer reviewed. There's a control group versus placebo group. It was randomized. And what they found is that retitrutide caused 24% weight loss at high doses significantly reduced liver and abdominal fat, improved insulin sensitivity, and enhanced metabolic markers, suggesting broad cellular and metabolic rejuvenation effects. So that is the goal. Now imagine if you have a detox protocol when you're losing weight, the change that you can have where we don't want you on any peptides long-term. We want you cycling because peptides are just signaling medicine. It's just signaling molecules that already exist in your body. Glucagon, just like GLP-1, these are some of the pathways that get turned off as we age. As we age, your body loses hormone expression. Your body loses peptide expression. Your cells, just like our hearing starts to get muted, our metabolic process gets muted. But when you have glucagon in there, you start regenerating the liver. The liver now has energy because you've expressed that pathway. You've turned on that gene. And with a long half-life, I mean, 144 hours, roughly six and a half days, you're getting this metabolic makeover. And it's actually one of the most brilliant parts of why this works and why you lose weight. But it's not just weight that you're losing, you're actually maintaining your muscle mass because you're detoxifying as you go. Some of the things you can add, my favorite drink, thank you Dr. Eric Berg for sharing this with me about 20 years ago when I spent time with you in DC, but apple cider vinegar, unsweetened cranberry juice, a little bit of lemon juice, open up those biliary ducts, Make sure you're exercising every single day. I made a goal for myself. I said, this was over a decade ago. I said, I'm never gonna miss a day of exercise. I'm always going to be doing something physically active and something that causes me to sweat. And your liver is like a sponge. So the more you move it around, the more you can start releasing these toxins because your fat, this is a metabolic nightmare. I mean, these are like stalkers that just follow you around when you've got fat cells. And many of us have experienced that, especially that visceral fat. So when you stack like tessamorelin, BPC, you're protecting your body against any kind of future damage and you're turning on the muscle building, turning on the regeneration. But when you can exercise on a regular basis, ideally do some high intensity, some VO2 max training. And then when you can add in like some apple cider vinegar, uh, that lemon juice, that unsweetened cranberry juice, stay hydrated, you're gonna flush those toxins out. We also run through a complete panel. We do stool testing. We do what's called metabolomics, so we can see if there's any toxic accumulation, metabolic dysfunction. But if you can prepare the environment, you get better signaling. If you get better signaling, that means the weight that you lose is permanent because you're transforming your entire metabolic process and retitrutide is just one of the tools that can help you get there. So if you're somebody who wants to go deeper into your health, you say, man, what is going to be best for me? then what you wanna do is click on the link below, go to agelessfuture.com, schedule your free intro call and talk to one of our health ascension specialists. See if our program is right for you and get your blood labs ran. It all starts with the right diagnostics and then meet with our medical team. They're phenomenal, they're world-class. Can't say enough good things about them. Can't say enough good things about you. Thanks for watching this and I'll see you on the next video.